The James Webb Space Telescope has recently uncovered findings that are both fascinating and unsettling about the early universe. According to scientists, galaxies discovered beyond the so-called cosmic dark ages appear to be mirror images of our own, and they were far more numerous than previously believed, existing within just the first billion years after the Big Bang. These revelations challenge long-standing cosmological theories, which suggest the universe evolved in a gradual and orderly fashion. As researchers continue to probe deeper into the cosmos, they are encountering even more surprising, and at times disturbing, anomalies. The sheer number of galaxies observed vastly exceeds expectations, creating the impression of a universe without a definitive beginning or end. These revelations challenge long-standing cosmological theories, which suggest the universe evolved in a gradual and orderly fashion. As researchers continue to probe deeper into the cosmos, they are encountering even more surprising, and at times disturbing, anomalies. The sheer number of galaxies observed vastly exceeds expectations, creating the impression of a universe without a definitive beginning or end. Some scientists now propose that what we're seeing may be a mirrored version of our own universe, close to the time of the Big Bang. This notion raises profound questions about whether the evolution of the universe follows any predictable pattern at all. Lior Shamir, an associate professor at Kansas State University, has voiced serious concerns about these recent discoveries, highlighting how they may upend our fundamental understanding of cosmology. According to researchers, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided some of the deepest images ever taken of the early universe, but what it revealed was completely unexpected. Instead of capturing a young chaotic cosmos filled with newly forming structures, the telescope showed large, mature galaxies already in place. If the Big Bang occurred as traditionally believed, some of these galaxies appear to be older than the universe itself. Take a look at this image. It's causing a stir in the scientific community. The galaxy you see is called Joule Long, recently discovered using the James Webb Telescope. It's a fully formed spiral galaxy, which is astonishing given its age. This is the oldest spiral galaxy ever identified in the early universe. What's shocking is that Joule Long existed when the universe was only about 1 billion years old. Extremely early by cosmic standards, considering the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old today. Spiral galaxies, with their defined arms and organized structures, weren't expected to exist at such an early stage. This discovery is forcing scientists to rethink much of what they thought they knew about galaxy formation and the evolution of the cosmos. According to current models of cosmic evolution, galaxies like this should take billions of years to form. They're expected to grow gradually through chaotic mergers with smaller galaxies, slowly developing structure over time. Yet this newly discovered galaxy appears fully mature. It features a central bulge packed with older stars, a bright disk where new stars are actively forming, and clearly defined spiral arms. All characteristics we associate with well-developed galaxies like our own Milky Way. Because of its striking similarity, scientists are calling it the most distant Milky Way twin ever observed. Its size and structure are difficult to reconcile with the standard cosmological model, which underpins our understanding of how the universe formed and evolved. Muan Xiao, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Geneva and lead author of the study, noted that what makes Zulong so remarkable is how closely it mirrors the Milky Way in shape, size, and stellar mass. Although Zulong is much older, it could easily be mistaken for a younger sibling of our galaxy. According to the research, Zulong's star-forming disk spans approximately 60,000 light-years, compared to the Milky Way's 100,000 light-year diameter, and it contains about 100 billion solar masses of material. For context, the Milky Way holds an estimated 1.5 trillion solar masses, but its maturity and structure make Zulong a truly surprising find in such an early epoch of the universe. 
Still, Zulong stands out as the largest Milky Way lookalike discovered so early in the universe's history. And here's the astonishing part. It's not alone. Astronomers have identified several spiral galaxies in the early universe that closely resemble our own, appearing far earlier than current theories predict. We've previously discussed discoveries like Sears 2112, found by the James Webb Space Telescope in 2023. Located about 11.7 billion light-years away, we're seeing it as it existed when the universe was still in its infancy, yet it already had a well-defined spiral structure much like the Milky Way. More recently scientists uncovered another massive early universe galaxy that resembles a colossal wheel-shaped version of our own, and data from the James Webb Telescope suggests many more like it are out there. The discovery of Zulong adds to a rapidly growing list of surprisingly mature Milky Way-like galaxies spotted in the early cosmos. These findings are forcing astronomers to rethink the timeline and mechanics of galaxy formation on a fundamental level. This is a major discovery. And quite frankly, it's causing a headache for scientists. According to our current understanding, galaxies like the Milky Way take billions of years to grow and evolve. Our own galaxy, for instance, has taken nearly 13 billion years to reach its present form. So how is it possible that we're observing galaxies that look just like ours only a billion years after the Big Bang? It simply doesn't add up. This puzzling evidence is leading scientists to ask some profound questions. Why does the early universe seem to mirror the structure of the universe we see today? It's as if we're looking at cosmic twins from the distant past, and no one fully understands how or why they formed so quickly. These findings are forcing researchers to reconsider the entire timeline of galaxy formation. But the surprises don't stop there. The James Webb Space Telescope has just revealed something even more astonishing. In a recent research paper, scientists report the detection of galaxies that appear to exist far earlier than previously thought possible. Based on their analysis, Webb has identified galaxies at redshift values higher than 15, and possibly even up to 20. To put that in perspective, the higher the redshift, the further back in time we're looking. A redshift of 15 or more means we're seeing these galaxies as they were when the universe was just around 100 million years old, practically a blink after the Big Bang. In this groundbreaking study, the research team selected 10 candidate objects from the JWST's AstroDeep catalog, pushing the limits of how early we think galaxies could have formed. These newly discovered objects display colors and properties consistent with being at redshift values between 15 and 20, placing them among the earliest galaxies ever observed. And here's the truly astonishing part. If these galaxies are indeed that ancient, they must have formed just a few million years after the Big Bang. That's far earlier than current cosmological models suggest galaxies should even exist. Naturally, scientists are approaching this cautiously. They're calling for detailed spectroscopic analysis to confirm the actual distances and ages of these objects. But if those tests validate what the James Webb Space Telescope has observed, it could seriously challenge the foundations of modern cosmology. Adding another twist, astronomers Cosmin Ilya, Gillian Paulin, and Catherine Fries recently published findings based on JWSA's infrared observations that reveal something even more intriguing. They uncovered three objects in the early universe that, while initially resembling galaxies, may in fact be dark stars, a type of celestial body long theorized but never directly observed. So, what exactly is a dark star? These would be among the very first stars to form, around 200 million years after the Big Bang. Unlike ordinary stars, dark stars are thought to be powered not by nuclear fusion, but by the annihilation of dark matter in their cores. If confirmed, their discovery would mark the first real evidence of these mysterious objects, and could dramatically reshape our understanding of the universe's earliest light. Unlike typical stars powered by nuclear fusion, dark stars may have been fueled by dark matter. 
At their cores extremely dense concentrations of dark matter could have caused particles to annihilate each other, releasing energy that became trapped inside the star. This process would generate light and heat without the need for fusion making these stars fundamentally different from anything we've seen before. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope is also shedding light on another mystery, one that's creating serious tension in the field of cosmology. Recent observations suggest that the expansion rate of the early universe doesn't align with the expansion rate we observe in the nearby or local universe. Scientists call this discrepancy cosmic tension, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to explain away. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope is also shedding light on another mystery, one that's creating serious tension in the field of cosmology. Recent observations suggest that the expansion rate of the early universe doesn't align with the expansion rate we observe in the nearby or local universe. Scientists call this discrepancy, cosmic tension, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to explain away. This raises a provocative and unsettling question. What if the universe doesn't have a single fixed age? What if the perceived age of the universe actually varies depending on where and when you look? If true, this would fundamentally challenge our understanding of time, space, and the evolution of the cosmos. It suggests that the tools and assumptions we've used to measure the age of the universe may be flawed, and that our entire timeline of cosmic history may need to be re-examined. Taken together, the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries are transforming our picture of the early universe. Until recently, scientists believed that the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang were a quiet, lightless era, the so-called cosmic dark ages with no galaxies in sight. But Webb has turned that idea on its head, revealing fully formed galaxies emerging far earlier than expected, and in far greater numbers. Taken together, the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries are transforming our picture of the early universe. Until recently, scientists believed that the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang were a quiet, lightless era, the so-called cosmic dark ages with no galaxies in sight. But Webb has turned that idea on its head, revealing fully formed galaxies emerging far earlier than expected, and in far greater numbers. Even more astonishing, some of these newly discovered galaxies closely resemble our own Milky Way complete with spiral arms and mature well-defined structures. Adding to the mystery, the James Webb Space Telescope has found evidence suggesting that the universe's expansion may not be uniform. And that raises a deeply unsettling possibility. What if the universe doesn't have a single consistent age? What if it's older in some regions and younger in others? If that's true, it would upend our most fundamental ideas about the origin and evolution of the cosmos. And that raises a deeply unsettling possibility. What if the universe doesn't have a single consistent age? What if it's older in some regions and younger in others? If that's true, it would upend our most fundamental ideas about the origin and evolution of the cosmos. In light of these discoveries, scientists are beginning to explore bold and unconventional theories. Nobel laureate Roger Penrose has proposed that our universe may have emerged from a previous one in a continuous cycle. Others speculate about the existence of a mirror universe that may have preceded the Big Bang. Some even suggest that the universe may have no beginning at all, that it has always existed in some form. There are also more radical ideas gaining attention, including the possibility that the universe's apparent expansion is merely an illusion, and that dark matter and dark energy, long considered essential components of cosmology, might not exist at all. There are also more radical ideas gaining attention, including the possibility that the universe's apparent expansion is merely an illusion, and that dark matter and dark energy, long considered essential components of cosmology, might not exist at all. That brings us to the end of this video. If you found it intriguing or thought-provoking, let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what you 